<laughs> what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel i really 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 wanted to stream today as my first stream on youtube even post on tiktok and everything about it sadly i didn't know this because i hadn't ran a test stream you have to give them 24 hours so when i clicked to go live set up my webcam and everything it was like hey you're not allowed you have to wait 24 hours but i'm itching to open up some cards and i was like hey let's just make a youtube video let's just go ahead and do that so what i'm doing is we're going to crack open not one but two boxes of the new digimon card game set cross encounter it is bt10 so we're going to rip open two of these bad boys and i'm super excited don't have my scissors with me but yeah we got some tunes going in the background I don't think they're too loud. Lots of times I have the music too low, but um, I think it's enough. We might turn it down just a touch, but I don't want it so low that we can't. We'll roll with it right there, and then you guys can just let me know. Be like, hey man, your video is trash because your music's too loud. But anyway, enough of that into the first box also if you guys have watched any of my lives uh from back when i was on twitch you guys know how i roll <laughs> everything in a set is generally something i want i love everything from this but um i think it's going to be really good so let's just go ahead and get right into it we'll crack this open here and we're going to see our first box topper and it is Ooh, it is Akari Hinomoto, and this is the uh, yellow cross heart uh, tamer there. So we got Akari there, and now we have our wonderful, uh, this is the special entry pack, and it came from starter uh, deck 11, which we did not get. So instead of just giving us uh, the starter deck, they gave us these packs and box toppers. Uh, not super happy about it. Thanks, Bandai, for literally just making it harder for us to get. But let's see what we got. We got, all right, we got Gammon and Hawkmon. So Gammon is something I really need. Uh, I'm going to be running him in my Gammon deck. It's delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 2,000 DP or less. And then when attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 2,000 DP or less. That is good to get rid of those pesky floodgates control the board if they're going wide but here we go this is what we're here for we got wonderful 36 packs and we're going to go with the right stack first right stack first get this going here actually let me go ahead and change my trash can to my right side to my right side there so we can get rid of it all right there uh Lots of things from this set. We got Bagra Army. We got X Cross. Skull Knight Mon. It's definitely a deck I want to run. Um, Monotamon. Uh, ooh, talking about. All right, there we go. You boys know. Boys and girls know I'm running Jess Mon, so that's good. And Metal Gray Mon as our first SR. I'm going to put you right there. That Metal Gray Mon. Um, we'll go ahead and not do a lot of separation, but separating the cards I want. And then, of course, just eggs, things like that. But anyway, got our first SR there. Metal Greymon. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That is for Blue Flare, which is a new uh, archetype in this set. We're definitely hoping to pull some Jessmon GX and stuff like that. I'm really excited about it. Lots of good cards in this set. A new Gazimon there. Impulse Memory Boost. Spotamon! Definitely want to heal. Oh, there we go. Gullus Gammon. Another card I'm needing. Oh, there we go. Bloom Lordmon. Let's get it. That's beautiful. That's the alt art, isn't it? Yeah. We got that gorgeous Bloom Lord going on there. Heck yeah. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not a green player, but I have a lot of buddies that play green. This was supposed to be live, so we're just rolling with it. 
I'm not really going to get this out. I want to see my live reactions. The We're just rolling with it. Now we got the lights on. Maybe a little too much light here. Let's see. Okay. Not not too much there. All right. Anywho, on to the next pack. Pulling some pulling some heat so far. I like I'm not a green player. Talked about it in the podcast. Uh shameless plug. We do uh me and some of my buddies do have a podcast. It is the Security Check Digimon TCG podcast where we talk all about Digimon, the state of the game, decks we're building, all kinds of stuff. So if you like it, go give us a... Uh, we're on pretty much every major platform. So go give us a like and a follow. And... Woo! Shoutmon X... Okay. I'm not excited about Shoutmon. I'll be honest. Not pumped. Uh, which is I know sounds weird. He's supposed to be the big bad of this set. And I mean, it's cool. The whole like Voltron combined mechanic. The save. Not saying it's a bad deck by any means. I'm just not interested in playing with it. So we'll just put you to the side here. Put you up here. We'll keep the We'll keep these kind of in the frame there of cards. Good cards that I pull, promos, rares, we'll keep them there. Cards that I want, we'll keep over here, and junk cards. Well, not junk, but bulk cards, we'll just keep over here on the side. We're doing this on the fly. Like I said, I planned on doing a live stream, and it got shot in the foot. So, here we are, just ripping pack. Skull Knight. Ooh, Mad Leomon. Sunflyermon. Ghostmon. That's also, ooh, Ray Claw, need that. And, ooh, got our Greymon there. Looks like we're already starting to get Blue Flare rolling. Don't think Blue Flare's top tier as of right now in the meta, but still interested in playing with it. Still like the deck. I'm a mainly red player, but I do have some blue tendencies. There's a lot of good cards in there. This deck, this set. Oh, there we go, Minerva Mon. Yeehoo! Like it. Let's go, Minerva Mama. There we go. I and I love the artwork. Digimon is some of the best. Like you can just look at that. Look at that. Which kind of makes me worried about my box because I'm pretty sure uh, these are the alternate arts. Because as you can tell, you can see the difference in. You've got your regular there, and then you've got your full arts, basically. So I've pulled two SRs. Uh, there are full arts. We really want to... I really want to see the Jessmon GX. I'm needing it. I'm not wanting it. It's a need at this point. Ooh, high vision. High vision. There's Beelzemon, Renamon, Greymon again, and Shoutmon. Another shout mom. Bitch, you can't be mad. That's what this set's about. Cross art. Go. So, I mean, going to see a lot of him probably today. Way more than I like. Probably end up building the deck just because I have it. Will I play it? Maybe. I don't know. I'm the sweat lord of the group, I guess you could say. I'm really bad. To always want to play tier one meta decks even though oh whoop, we skipped one there all right we got sparrowmon and hey yamano put you right there put you right there not bad not bad so far really would like to see like i said jessmon gx there's not really a card i don't want from the set like even though i say i'm not going to play cross heart it's not like i wouldn't Hey, there we go. Need you. Ooh, Monimon. Shoutmon. Dickadramon. Ooh, another Shoutmon. And a. Hey! We'll just keep pulling them. We'll just keep pulling it. Um, I think in my Gammon, I'm only going to run. Ooh. Um, 
Gullus Gammon just for the uh, retaliation effect. If you don't know how Gammon works, you basically are able to slide stuff underneath your Gammons, and with a mixture of Chimera Mon I keep skipping that. Oh, hey, look at that. Man alive. That is definitely another hit. Um, we got good old Larmortmon. And if you haven't watched the ghost game anime, the he is he is bad. Like he is straight up savage. That's a beautiful card too. Like look at that. I really love the artwork on that. Like I said, I'm not a green player, but you can't deny the beauty of that card. Look at that. Dang, that's good artwork right there. That's that's beautiful. Great looking card. Not green. <sighs> but man, Jordan, here we are. We're done. Done pulling lots of green, bud. Lots of green. Got lots of blue too. We just got lots of good pulls so far. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy yet. Ain't pulled no secret rares. Ain't pulled no. Hey, need that and. Hey, Kano Weissman, Kano, v Kano Weissman, Kano Weissman. We, so you guys tell me what you think. So we talked about it in uh, the podcast. So Vice Gammon and Kano Weissman um, basically going with a different uh, pronunciation. It wouldn't be a W, B there. So, um. Uh, Tell me on what you think, what y'all calling him. I think most people are just Kano Weissman, but. Great Claw, great card. Even if you're not using Sparrowmon and, ooh, Dicker Greymon. Wait, why are you there? Get out of here. Done stacking wrong, done sorting wrong. Good Lord. Get in the game, Nightmares. Stack your cards right. I was really looking forward to live streaming too. I think that's weird that I don't know why I never known that. I didn't know that you had a limit, I guess. So you can't just like make a channel and start streaming. It's just weird that I've been on YouTube for a long time, a while. And I would post my videos there. I never live stream, but I didn't think there would be a waiting period, like a grace period to be like, Hey, you can stream or you can't stream. I'm also sorry if I get a little bit excited about this. Hey, there's Taiki and oh, Lotus Mon. Here we go. I'm just going to keep pulling you green. Uh, keep pulling the green. That is it. That is for our first set, our first stack. And we got five hits, five hits. So are we going to get lucky and get 10 out of this box? Or are we going to end up with eight? I envy those people that can buy cases, but this time I had to go cheaper route. I got two boxes for myself and one box for um, prize support. We are going to start holding tournaments again. We are uh, with a cataclysmic cardboard. Hey, Justy Mon critical arm and ah, more green. Green acres is the place to be. Not for me though. Hey, gum it. Dang it. My luck with green is just, I mean, well, technically it's not lucky for me. It's lucky for all my friends around me who play green. There you go. Got some green for you, boys. Justice kick. Oh, okay. And, uh, dang gum it. We got that wonderful, that, um, I, I'm pretty sure that's not the regular card. So we got another Altar, and then we got the another Decker Greymon. Like it, maybe, maybe Achilles Mon is that. Maybe that is just his normal art. I don't think so though. Maybe it is. If it is, cool. Love it. Love that full image. Even though I've opened up a lot of Digimon, there's not a lot out there really explaining. Like, so you you've got your different rarities. Of course, here you got your rares. They're just normal cards that are shiny. And then you got your alternate art cards. So it's not a full art. 
And then you got these right here that are your full art cards, SRs. So you got your rares, which are just alternate um, artwork there. And then you've got your full art SRs, and then you got your SRs. Maybe I'll look more into it and do a video on it explaining more, but yeah. Don't have a lot of videos out there. Not a lot of people crack these like they do Pokemon. There's not a lot of Digimon box openings. Hey, we need you and <gasps> Gankumonix antibody. Woo, woo, woo. Let's go. I needed him. Got two now. Our preferred Chad mode, which is the, <laughs> the full art. Uh, of the card, but I will definitely take um, good old just Ganku X. We'll just stack you up there. We'll just keep on going. So far, the box is looking pretty good. Pretty snazzy here on this box. I'm digging it. Also, really like how Bandai does their packs. Even when I was open Dragon Ball Super, it's nice. The where they got the pull tab down there. I'm trying to keep it steady for you guys so you can see them better i may be going a little bit fast it's just i got a lot of packs to open and we are done oh and we are done 16 minutes in sheesh it's gonna be an hour long video no like what uh yeah probably an hour long video sorry guys hey skull knight gazimon hellmon demi marimon blastmon Immortal Ruler and another Lotus Mon. Lotus Mon, Mon, Mon. Um, I think. I've never been a purple player. And I know that people that are running purple right now are still doing Mastamon, um, yellow purple. Is there any plans on running any Bagra army stuff? So, you know, that's kind of the thing here. Look, here's an armor purge. Once this Digimon would be deleted, you may trash. So that's cool. There's, They're adding some mechanics to purple there. You got the save. There's another Shoutmon. Oh, we got our first Kiraha. Oh, and Maiden Mode. Man, Jordan is pulling you all kinds of stuff. Got the Maiden Mode there. Got two Maiden Modes now. Pulled my other one from a sleeve booster from Walmart, which I am a huge believer in the sleeve boosters from Walmart. Had to crank it a little bit. Watch now my side eye here. That star mons got mushroom. Got Dodo come on. Monotamon. Palvok keep skipping oh hey hey yeah so see there's the regular art la mortmon and yes let's go jessmon x anybody woo woo yeah let's get it gotta gotta run my jessmon gotta get him going not a bad box at all so far doing really good on my box got some definitely got some stuff i need would love to see a GX though. Would be excited. I pulled no uh, Alpha Mons from last set, but I did pull. Oh wow, double tamers! I did pull. Um, ended up pulling four Death X Mons and the full art Death X, the alternate art Death X. So uh, maybe my luck will be with me. And I'll be able to pull some GXs, but it's not looking good. We got, this is the, we got three packs left after this one. And it doesn't look like, all right. Hey! No! No! <laughs> Why? Hey. Oh. And here we are. It would be. Would be. Ah, so my secret of this box is Shoutmon. Shoutmon King version. 
So unless some there's a misprint or a mishap on my box, that's my that's my secret for this one. Oh man. I, as you can tell, I'm not not happy about it. And and he seems to be the easiest to pull. Like I have seen people get cases. Hey, there we go. I got Thetismon and another um Gullis. But he seems to be the easiest pull by far. Like I've I've watched people posting uh videos and TikToks and pictures in the Digimon Discord and stuff like that and it is just crazy to see how much they pull him over anyone else. So, I'm on par, sadly. Not excited. Hey, there we go. Needed a Dark Knight Mon and Heroes of the Skies. God, the wind is out of my sails. Like, oh. I am heartbroken over that. I mean... Okay, we'll give credit where credit's due. It is a cool card. It is a cool Digimon. Like Shoutmon, like what he's about. He's going to be king of the digital world. I think it's cool. Like his hustle, like his attitude, but it just never fails. Like, I, I stumbled upon all the Death X pulls. You know, I was like, I'm not going to really play Death X. And now it's like... Hey, you're sitting on a gold mine from your pools. Maybe uh, Shoutmon will be the same way. And we got our other sister mon seal. And then there's the uh, regular, the non-box topper, Akari. Well, that is it for box number one. I had to take a hit of my vape there. Where did my other box go? Okay, so not bad. So let's go over our pools from this. We got... Shoutmon, which is our secret. We got Jessmon X, which we need. We got Sakuya Maiden Mode. Got Ganku X. Got Achillesmon. Got the Mortmon. Um, alternate art there. Got Shoutmon. We got Minerva Mon and Bloom Lord Alt Arts. And then we got Metal Gray. So, really good box, to be perfectly honest. So I mean I can't be I can't be unhappy with it. All in all, got you know the good X antibody because he's also hard to pull. Um, you don't know how if you've never opened TCG boxes, it's of course uncommons uh, and rares are generally uh, there's more of them, but like when there is a lot of SRs or super rares in a set or whatever you know your card game calls them it makes your chances to pull those cards less likely because there's so many of them in a set but they are not as printed so of course you're going to have um certain cards certain srs you're going to see more of which will probably be shoutmon in this set and i'm already going with uh minervemon minervemon and our box topper is hey yeah we got we'll take that we got nene i like it i'll take nene because i am going to run dark knight and now for our pack drum roll please i can add that since i'm making this video and it's not live and our pack is gammon and monochromon <sighs> well Got my other Gammon, so I guess it's gonna always be Gammon. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think it's always gonna be that, and then this is gonna be the, your your other one. Okay, we're doing the same thing. We went with right last time, so this is the the right stack. We're gonna go with the we're gonna go with the left stack over here first. We're gonna go with this bed. <sighs> Let's go ahead and organize here and get all my bulk off the off the table here not bad as you can see i'm very discouraged um also if you haven't yet you guys really should go ahead and pick you up a 
uh, box, a uh, starter deck, because you get these in there. So you get the um, reprint tamer. So you get Ty Davis, which is the big one. Uh, not good TK. Uh, Ken Izzy is he's really good. Matt is actually pretty good. And then of course you um, get these wonderful things right here. I got these from. Um, buying my booster boxes. They're the anniversary reprints for the new V, uh, the Vita Pets, the V Tamers, the Vital Pets. Digimon, um, you know, little Tamagotchi looking things that you can uh, run your pit on, which are pretty cool because they did the retro, the original, the brick. So there's a picture of that in all those cards, which makes them pretty cool. And our first pull of the box is something special. Candle okay, Vice I'll take it though. We'll take it. We shall take it. All right, got my shiny stack going. Got my shiny stack I need going. We're ready to go. You wanna start ripping some packs. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Got it, got it. Need it, don't need it, don't need it. Don't need it. Cool card, by the way. Really think. And shout my in. Hey, all right, we got another. Uh, got a Gullus. Gullus Gamamon. He is bad, by the way. Like, I mean, like, like, evil. Like, I mean, he is definitely something you need to go watch Ghost Game. It is a pretty good anime. And, hey, okay, so far. Two packs in, no SRs. So maybe we're going to hit them all at once and we'll get a big round of just goodness. Money Mon, Skull Blanche Mon, and all right. We are literally three packs in with not a single SR. So maybe, just maybe. Usually we already hit one by now. I'm pretty sure we hit one like right off the bat. It was our second pack. Uh, so. Let's see. Ballastmon, Tailmon. Oh. Hey, and Dark Knightmon. We'll take it. We'll take it. Also, I really want to see more of these. Like just the Digimon from this set. Like look how cool that is. Some very, very, very cool uh, Digimon that I want to see. Four more. Very cool. Also, uh, Senzamon does what normal yellow things do. It minuses security minus one, which is pretty big. We haven't seen Venusmon. Actually, now that I said that, security minus one for the turn, we have not pulled a Venusmon in. Ooh, Dark Knight Mon X Antibody. You, you, you. I don't know. I'll pick a music. I'll pick a sound to play there. <laughs> yeah, super excited about that. Let's go. Don't care. Don't care if it's trashed here, which I do not think it is. Um, I'm a firm believer in piloting matters, uh, situational awareness, game awareness, knowing the meta decks that you don't think can do good can thrive oh an omnimon x anybody here we go is this it is this literally just the stack the gold the goodness that was my mvp of the set that was my number one that was my number one we did a draft pick on the podcast this was my number one draft pick because i just went with the big boy and we're going to read him here. So, uh, Digivolve 3 from Omnimon. He's 16k DP, uh, 7 red or blue to Digivolve. Uh, when a Digimon with X anybody in its traits would Digivolve into this card, reduce the digital evolution cost by 2. So, he's 5, still big. But when Digivolving, return all your opponent's Digimon with the highest level to the bottom of the owner's deck in any order. Let's see if it can. And we'll read it there. And then, um, of course, um, when attack, when Digivolving, when attacking once per turn, see if I can read it here, by placing an X anybody or level six card from this Digimon's Digivolution cards at the bottom of its owner's deck, reveal all your opponent's security cards and trash one of them. 
place the rest in your opponent's security face down in any order. Uh, and then, um, yeah, then your opponent shuffles their security. So that's pretty beastly. And when it's talking about X anybody, it actually means the option card X anybody or a level six. It's still pretty beastly. Very cool. Very cool. There is a lot of cards now that have two level sixes because you'll have Dark Knight mod and then the X anybody. So I'm telling you, it's going to be good. A lot of people ain't running it. That's, that's one of my downfalls with Digimon is a lot of people are afraid to branch out because they just want those tier one decks. They're waiting for that, you know, tier zero deck and it's just not going to exist. And that's why we need to branch out more and add some stuff to our repertoire of decks that we run and play. Firm believer in that we need to just widen our horizons. Dear Lord, my phone's blowing up. Um, but yeah, I want to see a lot more like, look, you need to play the game and you need to have fun. And yeah, we all want to win, but you can snipe some wins. You can. And it goes to show you that like, for instance, Red Hybrid, uh, Mario Gaming took Ancient Greymon and won a tournament. Actually won twice. <gasps> oh, let's go. This is it. That's three packs in a row. Just this is it. Oh my gosh. Like, look, look, look. There's three packs left. Jessmon X Antibody Alternate Art. Oh, man. What a pull. Dang. Dang gum. Let's go. Okay. Look at, look at that card. Let me just drool over this card a little bit. Okay. Let's just drool over it and look at it in all of its glory focus there. Look at that. And I know it's not doing it justice on my camera, but like that swirl. Look at that. Look at that lightning. You can see it now. Look at that texture on the card. Gosh. Oh, such a beautiful freaking card. Let's go. Jessmon. Woo. Digging it. Ready to build the church this season. Ready to build the church. Man, if we pull Chad out of this. Oh, okay, the streak has been broken. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I was so hopped about that. I was just slinging cards. I was ready to get to the next pack. Okay, so the streak's broken. That was, oh, I don't even know. Maybe the streak wasn't, but that was a good, that was the lump right there. Dang, that was good. That was a nice pull. I'm hyped about that. Got two Jessmon X's and... We got another Ganku! Oh, baby! I, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about trying to run a non Jesmon. I want to run Ganku and Ganku X with uh, Jesmon GX. I don't, I don't want to be... I basically want to switch the ratios and run a heavier Ganku deck than a Jesmon with uh, taking in the Ganku X anybody. I almost want to run Ganku and take in a Jessmon. I know, just trying it out. Diversity, it brings flavor to the game. That's what you got to do. You got to be diverse. You got to try new things. If we just, so that's it for the, sorry, I got on a rant, a tangent there. That's it for the first um, stack. Not bad at all. Anyway, to finish my story, welcome to ADD Town. You have to diversify your meta. You can't just sit there and keep watching uh, Mario or me or anyone and be like, hey, I got to build insert tier whatever deck. Like, you know, it's okay. Trash tier doesn't mean you're not going to win. I mean, you're not. It's not an auto win, but I don't think there's a deck out there right now that it's an auto win. Cause just for the record, I haven't seen many cross hearts just out here, just dropping dubs at all these tournaments and stuff. There's a lot out here. Alpha Mon still doing Alpha Mon things. And that's something we've talked about on the podcast. A lot of people forget Alpha Mon's still relevant. He's still out there. We do not have, um, our dual gray Mon is not limited here. That's just been limited in Japan. We are still not limited. We have not had the announcement when he will or if he will be limited. So you can still run him at four. 
Alpha Mon still be out here, you know. <laughs> no! God, why? I'm melting. It hurts. Oh. Why? Why, Shalmon? Why? Okay. Let me just go ahead and read this to you guys. You guys know what he looks like. I'm just going to read it off here. Okay. The name of this card, uh, Digimon, is also treated as Shoutmon. Even though it says King version, it's just Shoutmon. On play, you may return a card with Digicross requirement from your trash to your hand. When you would Digicross this turn, this Digimon may replace one of those requirements. Okay. So you can use him. Material save one. When this Digimon is deleted, you may place this card in a Digimon's uh, conditions from this Digimon in a Digilose card. Under, you can stick it under one of your tamers. Blah, blah, blah. And then Digicross uh, mine it for two. One Digimon card with cross heart in its traits. When you would place this card, you may place specified card from your hand battle under it. Each place card reduces the play cost. While this card is Shoutmon, it gains plus 2,000. I'm not saying it's not useless. Like I said, uh, Crossheart uh, was not my thing coming into this. I'd heard a lot about it, but I was not interested in playing it. So I can't say he's not worth anything or will not be worth anything in the future. But from spoilers we've seen so far, and maybe I should probably talking out my ass here. Sorry, but I might just build the deck just to see. Just to see, because like I preach diversity, said it 50 times during this video. You got to try it to see if it works. So maybe, you know, hey, Bloom Lord Mon. Here you go, Jordan. I got, got some more for you. I think you've already got everything, but yeah, we got to diversify. We have to try. You can't just sit here and expect things to auto win. That's not how the game works. That's not how Pokemon, that's not how Yu-Gi-Oh works. You're always going to find new decks. And if you're not sitting out here trying random things, you're not going to get, you're going to have the same old still meta after a week. So it's just like, Ooh, um, like with alpha Mon, everybody's like, Oh, alpha Mon's done. There's no reason for him to be done in the English meta right now. You can still play him. He's not like, I'm not saying he'll do good, but I mean, OTK stacks are still doing fine. You're still doing a lot in raising. Just mon you raise. Um, there's still a lot of decks in our current format and meta that you're still building big stacks in the back. So there's no reason not to keep playing it. If you like Alpha Mon, and by God, you have a max ready Alpha Mon deck, you keep playing it, bud. You keep do you keep doing you. Because I mean, he's still winning tournaments. He'll still win. It's just everybody gets so tunnel vision on what is this tier one. And I get it. I mean, I'm ready to play Jessmon again. And I was guilty. I quit playing Jessmon when they limited um, Save Your Huck. I was like, oh, I got Minerva Mon. I was done with it. I was done. I was like, all right, you're going, you're going in the skeleton pile over here. You're going to sit and wait. And I did. I, I sat and I wait. And I think it's cool now. I think Bandai did Bandai things. And I know we preach about how much they do shady stuff to get money. But hey, speaking of Venus Mon, there you are. There you are, girl. There you are. Look at that. Let, let's just re let's just revel in Venus Mon and Bandai's way to just like people are talking about uh, getting people like banned or their play mats like they'll make a judge come over and look at them but look venus mon is literally showing her undergarments like i mean there there's nothing there's nothing about venus mon that she ain't trying to reveal i'm just gonna go ahead and say it degenerates out there all you want whatever but people people be trying to get people banned for having uh sleazy play mats and i'm like man Bandai ain't doing Bandai ain't doing nothing to help. Hey, another shout mon. So you can't be mad. 
Can't be mad at them. Bandai's out here making official sleeves. It's like official artwork of some of these girls. I mean, so. Can't be mad. Can't be mad. I have pulled a lot of star mons. Blast mon and sister mon seal. I think you only run two. I think you run two, 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 and maybe one of the old sister mon seal. Not 100% sure. All right, I know like some people are running four of that one from this, but. Here we go. I'm flying through. Dang it. Okay, you know what? A lot of Shoutmon in here. A lot of Shoutmon to go through. We got two packs left. Two packs left. In this box opening. So far, I'm really, really not disappointed. And also, I guess those are not alternate arts. Those are literally just the regular arts. I haven't pulled the alternate arts of Bloom Lord and Minerva Mon. So, I stand corrected. We are now on the last pack. Looks like we're going to have all of blue flare. Now here in the moment, the moment has come. Last pack magic. We know how it works. Good rip. Easy slide. We start off with mad Leo Mon. Assault Mon. Songbird Mon. Sunflow Mon. Impulse Memory Boost, Regular Clues Mon, Dark Mon, Mani Mon, Shout Mon, Decker Dramon, Sparrow Mon, and our last card of this opening is. Oh, you! I might have wow it. You ruined the party! Ugh! Dang, gum it! Was so hoping for a good hit. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Just putting it out there. Uh, I'm going to need some Jessmon GXs because Shoutmon plagued me. It was a nightmare. That was my biggest fear was just a Shoutmon King version. And I did. So, um, if anybody out there, I need... Um, don't need Jessmon X anybody. I need some Jessmon GXs. So, if you've seen anything... <laughs> you wanted hit me up in the comments or message me and we'll make some trades because i'm down to trade i don't play purple yellow i'm a degenerate i play red blue and black i just like to hit people in the face <laughs> so uh yeah if you see anything also if you like this video please follow and like and leave a comment of the card you wanted to pull most from this set i've told you mine a thousand times but i would like to see what you guys are pulling or have pulled and what decks you're excited for for this format in bt uh 10 so love you all and as always be nice be safe and peace